Hello again, everybody. This is Glockman4519. Uh, welcome back to another ROM overview. Uh, this ROM here is for the Nexus 6. Uh, it is from Dysfunctional ROMs, uh, and of course, the ROM is Broken OS. Um, I am going to uh, make some announcements now uh, before I get too far into the video. So those of you that are looking for links, um, you may want to try to go elsewhere. I am not going to post any links for this ROM. Um, this ROM is very easy to obtain just by going to the Google Plus uh, community. Um, and if you go to the Google Plus community, um, you do a search for Broken OS. Um, it's not... Well, I'll, I'll show you. Um, anyways, on their forum, on the, uh, on the Google Plus community, they do not want any links of any kind posted anywhere. Um, and I'm going to honor that. So, uh, but I am going to tell you that it is, um, very easy to get to this ROM. Again, you just go to the Google Plus community. And this is what you're going to look for. Broken OS Landfill. Put that in as a search. And once there, you can find the, you can find the download to this ROM. It is that simple. Um, now, this is an AOSP-based ROM. Uh, it is layer supported. Uh, there is no CMTE in this. Um, and it's a, uh, it's a really nice ROM. Uh, for those of you that has run Broken OS before, um, you know what it's all about. Uh, the guys want to put something out that's, you know, totally their own. Um, and uh, that's just the way they like it. Um, I will warn you now, if you go onto the website, you go to make a complaint, or not, I shouldn't say complaint, but um, to post a bug, uh, you best have some logs. <laughs> and you best do your research before posting because you will get harassed very, very bad. Um, read all the posts in the uh, uh, in the community um, before you know before posting anything, and it'll it'll give you a big description of what they accept, what they don't accept, how to behave on the community, and all that. Okay, it's just a warning, guys. Um, this is one of those ROMs, uh, you know, developers that don't put up with anything. Uh, they want it their way or it's the highway. And it's their ROM, so, you know, they are allowed to be that way. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, again, this is Broken OS. This is for the next six. This is Android 6.0.1. Um, I am running their kernel. Uh, I didn't feel the need to flash uh and you know a different kernel their kernel does not force encrypt um and it's actually running pretty good um it is also uh se linux permissive uh, which is pretty cool uh so i like that too uh so again there's there was no reason for me to switch to a different rom or a different kernel uh, can't even think all right um we're going to go right into developer options, um, and I'm going to show you uh, some of the features under developer options or lack of features, um, because, th again, this is not like your typical ROM. This is their own build, um, and they make it very clear uh, that they like it the way they have it, and to be quite honest with you, it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, here's your Windows animation. Uh, wherever you find your windows and your transition animations, that's where you're going to find your mul your multi-window mode. Um, your developer options, obviously, are up here. Uh, you want to make sure that you have them checked um, for ADB purposes. Uh, you know, if you want to push any logs or anything like that, uh, the best way to do it is ADB. Uh, you're going to get a true, solid uh, log that you can, uh, you know, that you can hand over. Uh, to the community in case you have any issues. That's how you want to do it. And I think 
No, it doesn't. I was going to say, I think um, the uh, uh, press back button to kill last app was in the, on the bottom, but it's not. So, um, I don't think there's anything else different in some of these other settings here. Um, we'll go into security. I'll let you guys see what the security looks like. Uh, it's basic marshmallow. Uh, I don't see anything different under this either. Um, sound and notifications. Um, they do have some of their own sounds, which are pretty cool. Uh, the Super Mario World and Jarvis messages do not come on this ROM. Uh, of course, those are my, uh, you know, my ringtones that I put in from other ROMs. Um, I just like them, so I add them in. They're not hard to do. Uh, if you know how to work, if you can, if you can flash a ROM, uh, you can, you know, you can definitely change your uh, ringtones uh, and add what you like. Uh, it's not, it's not that hard. Um, but here's where your heads up notification is at, your notification lights, and yes, they blink. <laughs> they actually blink on this. Now, I'm not 100% sure about the notification, but the the charging LED, LEDs definitely blink. Uh, that, that, that caught me off guard uh, when I was charging up my phone. Uh, it was blinking. Um, it's the first time I've seen that LED light blink. So, um, you know, it, I don't know what they did different, but it definitely does work on this. Uh, then we're going to get into um, your display. Uh, this is where, your, of course, your adaptive brightness is. You have the theme where you can uh, choose light, dark, or automatic. Right now, I have it in the automatic um, because it works best uh, with the uh, layers theme that I'm running, which I will show you later uh, in the video which theme it is. Um, I'll tell you, this ROM does come already dark. Uh, right out of the gate. When I say dark, I don't mean like gray. Uh, it's black. Uh, the way I like my ROMs, very, very, very dark, uh, which is really cool. Uh, let's see here. Um, you know, pretty much all of your uh, normal settings under your display. Uh, you have your dashboard tile settings. If you want to split your settings up into a couple, couple different tiles, uh, those uh, settings are there, you know, for one, two, or three columns. Uh, that's where you would do that at. Um, I don't like that. I, I just kind of like a straightforward um, settings preview. Uh, and then, of course, you have your ambient display. Uh, if you would turn that on, it gives you the doze options. Uh, those are your doze options that you have. Uh, I don't run ambient display. But it's there if you guys want to. Uh, let's see. Then, you, then, of course, you have your performance. Um, and it does come with uh, Kernel Auditor built right in, so uh, your performance features are there. Um, not a lot. Um, I think the only hot plug uh, that you have, of course, here is the MP, uh, the MP decision, uh, which I don't ever use. Uh, my favorite hot plug is Mako, um, which I would have to flash a custom kernel to, to get that. Uh, then you have your CPU settings. Uh, of course, max is uh, 2649, minimum is 300, um, but you can choose different governors. Uh, these are the governors that you have to choose from. And, of course, you have your your CPU boost. Uh, if you guys want to set that up, that's this is where you would do that. Um, and it's just got a lot of different settings. What I do like about it, uh, their kernel does come with uh, your screen settings. Um or your different colors, if you want to you want to mess with that. I don't mess with this. Um, I like the phone to look the way it looks right now. I, I don't want to screw with it. Uh, you have your weight controls, your sound controls, and of course my favorite USB fast charge. So this kernel does come with USB fast charge. Uh, now we're going to get into the good stuff, your broken pieces. This is uh, their custom settings. Uh, so your, here's your broken. This is where you're going to go to get wallpapers, which I think is awesome. I wish every ROM out there would do this. It used to be uh, when you flashed a custom ROM, you got custom wallpapers that represented the ROM that you were running. 
Um, and this is uh, broken wallpaper. I mean, nobody else has wallpaper that looks like this except, of course, broken OS. Um, where it really comes uh, prevalent or, or, you know, obvious is right here. Um, the broken glass. I mean, this this is broken OS at its best. And they got some they got some really cool wallpapers in here. Uh, so this in itself, I just think is awesome. Um, well worth flashing the ROM. Um, not only is it stable, but you get this. So uh, so you so you get all this customizations. I mean, and there are so many different wallpapers in here. You could change. I, I you could almost change one wallpaper. Um, you know, per day, every day of the month. Uh, then you have gestures. Uh, here's where you have your status bar, double tap, nav bar, uh, screen, you know, your uh, uh, lock screen gestures, uh, your three-fingered uh, gesture swipe uh, to do a, um, a screenshot. Uh, that is, you would take three fingers, swipe down, and it takes a screenshot. It works. Uh, I do like that feature. Uh, these are your uh, INIT uh, dot D um, tweaks. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, I would just stay out of this. Um, but for those of you who do know what uh, these are for, um, it's great that these are here. I, I just love this too. I haven't got a chance to play around in here yet. Um, then you have your lock screen uh, settings. Uh, you, you know, you, Of course, you can set your lock screen wallpaper. Uh, and I'm wondering if they're going to give us the, the, uh, no. Okay, well, I was hoping it would give us, uh, you know, the option to go back in and pick a different uh, broken OS wallpaper for that. But, uh, anyways, um, of course, you have your lock screen torch, lock screen weather, uh, your quick unlock, and show power menu. Uh, last but not least is your uh, navigation. I don't think that's last. I think we have status bar tweaks in here, too. Uh, here's your status bar. Uh, they do have Pi Control. It does work. I played with it some. Uh, you have your uh, custom recent options. Um, you can go with broken recents if you want. Right now, I am running just straight recents. Um, but I have full screen on there. <laughs> and I come out of settings. So let's go back into settings. Uh, you can choose the broken recents if you, uh, if you like. Uh, that gives you the recents uh, more like in the old style. Or in the, I guess I would say, uh, Kit Kat style and back. Um, I like this, you know me. I like a lot. I like the way the lollipop and marshmallow recents look with that Rolodex type thing. And I really love the full screen option, which they do give you uh, back here. Full screen recents. Um, there we go. Power menu. Uh, I don't know why I said last but not not least because I do know they have status bar tweaks in here too. Um, this is everything that you can have on your power menu, uh, which I love. You guys know I love to, um, uh, have as many options as I can get on my power menu. Um, I, I depend on my power menu. Like a lot of people depend on their drop down. This is where I go to my quick, my quick, uh, uh, menus right here. Um, status bar tweaks are here. Uh, you have your battery options, your battery bar options, which I love that, that they've included that. Uh, of course, you have your brightness control, brightness slider, uh, your broken logo. Absolutely, I'm going to run broken logo. Um, carrier label if you want to. Uh, here's your clock and date settings. Uh, you know, you can center it if you want. Um, the only reason it's colored is because of the theme I'm running right now. Uh, but they don't have this option to color it. Uh, I think that would be cool if they'd add that in, but <laughs> there is no way I'm going to ask them. Um, then you have your contextual header, uh, which I love. I'm glad that feature's in there. A uh, quick pull down, I like that feature. Uh, and it goes on and on. Um, of course, you can show weather. And the uh, here's your clock widget. Uh, this is your standard uh, AOS, uh, AOSP clock widget. Uh, you just go in here, uh, set it all up, you know, do however you want. And then when you put the uh, widget on your home screen, it's already set up. And ready to go. Uh, then you have your vault or your volume rocker tweaks. Uh, you can reorient them. 
excuse me, if you want, you can uh, have your vo volume rocker awake if you want, uh, volume down and silent, uh, you know, and of course your volume rocker music controls, that's all there. But that's pretty much it for the custom settings uh, for, uh, for what they call the broken pieces uh, for the broken OS. Um, it's, it's, it is a basic, uh, AOSP ROM with a lot of, uh, optim, I shouldn't say customization, a lot of optimizations in it. Uh, the kernel is tweaked for battery life, performance and battery life, and it does. Um, I pulled this off the charger early this morning, and I'm at 83%. Uh, I've been running it, my, uh, grandson picked the phone up and has been beating the dog crap out of it. Uh, on the way to school this morning, uh, watching videos, um, you know, and and I'm at 83%. So it's holding true to their name, uh, which is um, high performance and uh, outstanding battery life. Um, I, I can't think of anything else to bring up about the ROM, except for we're going to go ahead and go into the uh, layers manager. I want to show you the... Um, the layers thing I'm running, it is called Neon Colors. It is one of my favorite uh, CM13 themes to run. Uh, they finally came out with a uh, layers option for that. Um, and I, I will let you see what it looks like here. Uh, that's a, a quick preview of it. But, I mean, it goes deep. Uh, again, it it uh, it, um, it themes the Play Store, uh, Google+, Plus, uh, you know, your, your dialer, your calculator, all of that. So, I mean, it's, it is a, a really cool theme. Uh, now, as you can see, my, uh, uh, my navigation bar is on the bottom. Uh, that is uh, from the theme called Navigate. Uh, if you scroll down, uh, you will see uh, Broken on there. Uh, that is for the ROM Broken OS. And they have stuff down here that just, you know, it, it just mirrors uh, Broken OS at ROM. And I thought it, you know... Nothing would be better uh, except for that on there for this uh, video. So that's why I have that on there. So those are the two uh, themes that I'm running, uh, in case you guys are interested. And they are on the Play Store. Um, uh, I think Navigate is free. Neon Colors, I think it's $0.99 cents if you guys want to purchase it. And that is about it, I think. Um, I didn't... I don't know if it comes with um, a uh, music, uh, you know, like uh, Viper for Android or something like that. I'm not real sure. I'm not a music listener. I don't listen to music on my uh, phone. So I, that's an option I really don't look for in a ROM. Um, but, you know, it's, it's hard to say. Uh, again, with the themes, uh, that's how that themes that. Uh, if you go into the dialer and you was to hit that, that's how the dialer would look like with that. And I can't think of anything else to bring up, guys. Again, uh, this is Broken OS uh, for the Nexus 6. Um, and it is the Marshmallow 601 edition or uh, version of it. Um, again, you will find it on the Google Plus community. Just do a search for Broken OS and rummage around. Uh, you're going to have to be a member there. Uh, again, guys. Do your research before asking any questions. You will get drummed out. They will just tear you apart in there, okay? Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and I will see you all on the next one.